So, as you all know by now, because this is pretty late news, that SummerSlam is going to be Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton, a match that a lot of people have wanted to see. Myself included, and I don't know about you guys, but the main reason why I want to see Randy versus Brock isn't because I want to see Randy versus Brock in just a normal match, but it's for a specific spot, a specific counter that I've wanted to see. Anybody that's thought about Randy versus Brock taking place, I'm sure I thought about this. F5 countered into the RKO. And I hope we see this at SummerSlam. I'm pretty sure we will. If we don't, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. I mean, it's a big opportunity here to pull that off. And I'm sure Randy can do it. We've seen Randy counter pretty much everything into the RKOs. He countered a shooting star press into the RKOs. He countered the curb stop into the RKO. We need to see the F5 into an RKO. So, uh, if it wasn't clear before who was going to win this match between Brock versus Randy, now that UFC 200 is over with, now that Brock Lesnar actually went back to the UFC and actually got the win, he beat Mark Hunt, I think it's pretty damn clear how this is going to go. Suplex after suplex after suplex, then the F5 into the RKO, and then after that, an actual F5 for the win. Brock's going to win this. And... Brock was already an unstoppable monster in the WWE, but after being Mark Hunt, he, they took a big risk right there sending Brock back and were allowing him to fight in the UFC because he could have lost. And then they could have seen that as, oh, now Brock looks weak, you know, what are we going to do? This was our unstoppable monster because Brock Lesnar is the strongest book guy in the WWE right now out of all the superstars. And so if the strongest guy, the guy that beats everybody in the WWE goes ahead and loses once he steps outside the WWE and goes into another company kayfabe wise, then that might have been a problem for them. But Brock delivered, Brock went ahead and got the win. And then as expected, once Brock won, the pro wrestling haters, the WWE haters, the UFC fanboys that really can't stand it when a pro wrestler comes in, a f or a fake wrestler, or a fake fighter, as they, they say, it comes in and beats, you know, a UFC fighter, they started going ahead and making all kinds of excuses for Mark Hunt. I mean, look at this comment, for instance. So, he says he's lucky he ran the whole fight. Hunt would have knocked his block off otherwise. Uh, you mean when he was avoiding the punches? I mean, you're supposed to do that. You're not supposed to let the guy punch you. You're supposed to avoid that, block that if he can. And how was he running when he would go ahead and try to take down the guy, slam him, which he actually did. And then the fight ended with Brock on top of the guy, hitting him with strikes, left some rights. So, it's just a bunch of excuses. I mean, the worst one was a guy saying, <laughs> actually, it wasn't just one. A bunch of people started saying that now the fight was staged and that Mark Hunt was paid off to intentionally lose the fight. It's just, people just don't want to accept it. But yeah, man, Brock's a beast. And now that he actually won at UFC 200, you know, Vince is smiling and Triple H is smiling. They're, they're like, Brock right now, he was already unstoppable. He's probably going to be even more unstoppable now. And as far as Randy's chances, uh, pretty slim to none. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, you can click the like button. You can subscribe. You can share the video. It's all appreciated. See ya.